Thanks for joining us on the John Madola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire Service. We're talking Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame. Carol Zubris is with us, Dave Kanavich as well. And uh, welcome in both of you. And let's talk about the Luzerne County Hall of Fame. Uh, it's really grown and uh, we're trying to get the word out about the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame. There's a lot of positive things. Uh, Carol, talk a little bit about uh, the last several years and there's really been a, a nice, I don't know, for better lack of a better word, marketing strategy, but just trying to get the word out on all the positive things that are going on. Great. Well, you can see our logo behind me. We are the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame. We are with the John Lewis Popple Chapter, which was founded in 1985. Um, we're a nonprofit organization located in Luzerne County, Northeastern Pennsylvania. Our Sports Hall of Fame, Luzerne County, endeavors to perpetuate the mem memories of our athletes you know, who have brought lasting fame and recognition to our state. Commonwealth of Pennsylvania through their athletic achievements and community involvement. Eligible for such distinction are those individuals who have brought similar recognition to the state through their contributions to sports through general managerial, promotional, and other influential ca capacities. And when I was inducted in 2011, I was inducted for my contributions for ice skating. I was involved with it. As you can see, I post a lot of pictures on Facebook because I was really involved with ice skating for the past 35 years. So that's why I'm involved with that, the Learn to Skate and getting everything all rolled up with the ice Arama and the Learn to Skate program. And I put a lot of time and effort into it. And I've met a lot of skating champions in the past from Dorothy Hamill to Adam Rapon, so I keep it out there and active all the time. And Dave, do you want to tell them about yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. I was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2017. I'm a bowler. Uh, used to bowl uh, on the PBA tour on the regional circuit. Not too many tournaments, but uh, I did bowl on the pro tour. And uh, I am now retired, and uh, I'm also in the Wyoming Valley uh, Bowling Association Hall of Fame, and hopefully I'll be in the State Bowling Hall of Fame. And now I am the Vice President of the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame, and that's what brings me here today. Dave, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing to help the Hazleton Integration Center. I know that, you know, not only is the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame talking about you know, what they're doing for area athletes of the past, but also helping out the community, being a part of the community. So tell us a little bit about the project in Hazleton. Well, you know, John, that, that's a great, what you, you comment you just made is a great comment. And I mean, the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame, we're deeply involved in many local projects. This is one of them. And uh, right now we are focusing on the HIP. And probably most of you don't know what the HIP is, but the HIP is the Hazleton Integration Project. And what that is, it's a community-based effort that seeks to unite the people of many different cultures who now call Hazleton home. And the project is the brainchild of Hazleton native and current Los Angeles Angels manager, Joe Madden. Uh, and he, if uh, you do not know, he managed the Chicago Cubs to the World Series Championship in 2016. Well, in 2013, the HIP opened the Hazleton One Community Center in downtown Hazleton. And uh, in support of this program, the purpose is what we're asking for is donations from the community to help these families in times of need and in particular if there's any hazelton um hall of famers or family members who would right. contribute we would appreciate the support but that is pretty much what we're what we're looking for is we're looking to help these individuals out at this time and carol uh, dave thank you so much carol talk a little bit about the needs what are the needs i was speaking to directly to uh, his name is Bob Curry. He is one of the co-founders. 
and along with his wife, Elaine, Elaine Madden Curry. She's the program director and they work with the wonderful staff at the Hazleton Integration Project on 4th Avenue in Hazleton. They are asking for gift cards to help with their food distribution from local supermarkets from $10 to $25 so they can supplement what they distribute to their community. Not only do they reach out to the Hazleton community, they reach out to a greater Hazleton community in the area. So right now their resources are being exhausted. But right now too, they're also functioning inside the school with uh, with their uh, computer classes, they're ongoing, everything is socially distanced in there. The, the, they have somewhere to go, but they also, like I said, they help with the community, with divers, a food drive, and Bob and Elaine are asking for just some kind of help to get them through this rough period during the pandemic because it's gotten a lot worse and this winter has been really really nasty can you imagine what it like up in hazelton the past couple of days with all this snow not able to get this to the store or drive to your car anywhere you can't get diapers or food but people do make it to the community center and they want to make sure that that is a great outreach for their community people thrive on that area they, they, they survive, they keep sustained, and they do a great job doing that. And we have a wonderful relationship with the HIP Center, and we just want to keep it going. And we just want to ask our members to, if they can reach out, we've been calling our members from our membership list. You can reach out to me, Carol Zubris, at ymail.com, or Dave on our website at Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame. And we have a donate button. You click on that and it earmarks over to a donation. You could just type in Hip Center. Any other questions, reach out to me, Jim Martin, or Dave. Carol, thank you so much. I know recently somebody like Bork Popple donated $500. Uh, obviously a, a great uh, athlete back in the day. He's still a great athlete, but of course, uh, showing Go us. Go Coughlin High School. That's <laughs> where I'm from. Yay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we're, we're all close together. We all graduated within the same area. And I'm, I'm very grateful to the Popple family, to their father and their whole, whole entire family. They keep this chapter alive. And we really, really appreciate it because it, it we're just trying to keep it going. We did not have our annual banquet this year, David. So that's what we're trying to always keep alive and keep in the public spotlight by doing um, outreach that we do right now. So like I said, let's congratulate our 2,021 inductees. Hopefully we will get together and do something soon, but we always recognize our athletes and we keep everybody together in this, uh, it's a great, uh, how can I say, a fraternity of sports, athleticism, um, participation in sports, you can go on our website if you feel you want to nominate someone to be part of the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame. Check out our website at LuzerneCountySportsHallOfFame.com. Fill out all the paperwork and we'll evaluate you and we'll get you in. You know, so that's awesome. Thank you so much, Carol. Dave, when, when we talk about, to kind of wrap all this up, you think about, so we got Carol Zubris, who's an ice skater. We got you, who is a bowler. Um, we got field hockey, we've got tennis, we've got referees. Dave, talk a little bit about the, you know, just being so well-rounded, the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame and, and being able to try to reach as many people as we can. You, you know what, you, you just made a good point there, John. And uh, the point that you made is, and it's something that we do, is in the sense that we want a bowler, we want an ice skater, we want a a baseball player, a basketball player, a football player. Um, you know, we try to try to go out there. You know, just because you're a swimmer, does that mean you cannot make it into the Hall of Fame? The answer is no. I mean, that's not the answer. You know, of course you could. If if you any sport that you excel in, you are absolutely uh, should be in there, and that's something that we exude. Um, and I know, you know, in the past few years, you know, we've gone to the Special Olympics. I, right now, uh, through the Hall of Fame, I'm now uh, on the board of the Special Olympics, and we work with them, and uh, we have Special Olympians 
which are phenomenal athletes uh, that we have inducted into the Hall of Fame. So what you're talking about there, it's not just all football players and baseball players and basketball players that get into our Hall of Fame. Uh, we bring every athlete in every aspect of athletics uh, onto our team. And that's who we are. Um, but, but John, also the big thing is kind of what this whole conversation was about is it's about giving back also to the community. And um, that's something that I think that we would like to get out there and let everyone know that, well, yes, we do honor athletes uh, big time in, in, our, in our organization, but we also do what we could do to give back to the community, whether it be through uh, building fences for baseball fields, whether it be uh, through giving scholarships, we, we give back to the community. So that's that's what that's what the, the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame is all about. And again, people could log in. It is Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame.com. As Carol had mentioned, click that donate button to help the Hazleton Integration Center. And of course, you can reach out on Facebook or email as uh, Carol and Dave are, are available. Jim Martin is available. I wanna thank you, Dave, and thank you, Carol, for your time. And hopefully everybody will give a, a quick click and be able to donate what they can to try to help out this project. John, remember that we are the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame, the John Lewis Chapter. We are a 501c3 non profit community-based organization, you know, all donations, contributions to our organizations are tax deductible. Yeah, thank you so much, Carol. That's right. They are tax deductible. And again, you're helping out your, your community and it's such a great cause. Carol Zubris, Dave Canavage, thank you so much for your time. John, thank right. you. Thanks, John.